Hey South Shore students, uh, I just wanted to check back in with you guys and hopefully provide a little bit of encouragement during this time. Uh, today I want to talk about something that may seem a little bit strange given what's going on uh, in the world, but today I actually want to talk about peace. Uh, because you guys are likely spending a, a lot more time, maybe than normal, uh, lost in your thoughts, uh, I want to ta actually talk about your thoughts for just a minute. And we're going to read some really cool verses in a second, but before uh, we do that, I just want you to kind of think back to uh, maybe yesterday, maybe the day before. Uh, where exactly did your thoughts take you? Uh, were you really dwelling on things that are good? Did you kind of go down a path in your head that you probably shouldn't have? Uh, did you get lost maybe thinking about things that wouldn't exactly be pleasing to God? So listen to Philippians 4 verses 8 and 9. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned from, or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. That last statement is a conclusion. You know, if you do this, then this thing will happen. You will get this thing. Uh, if you think about certain things, then, then God's peace will be with you. And so what kinds of things do we think about? Well, he, he gives us six things uh, that I'm not really going to explain in detail because I think there's actually a summary phrase in there that kind of encompasses them all. Uh, we should think about things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Those are the six things that really should be in our mind if we want the result to be peace. But his summary statement is, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And so let's talk about that for just a minute. What excellence is he talking about? Well. By definition, something or someone who's excellent actually rises above the rest. They stand out. Uh, excellent athletes, they make the all-star team. Uh, excellent students, they win awards, they get scholarships. Uh, excellence always rises above the rest. Well, how does that happen in the context of our relationship with God? I think that happens in purity, and in goodness. The goodness of God is all around us, even in the midst of a difficult season. I mean, just think about where you even live. I mean, that is such the goodness of God. You know, think about all the different ways that God has blessed your life. That's his goodness. God blesses your life even when you don't deserve it because He's good. And purity is the absence of sin. It's God's holiness. When we choose to commit our lives to Jesus, we gain the righteousness of God in our lives. We gain that purity. And so let's think about that. Let that be uh, on our minds, on our thoughts. Let's think about how we can live that out. How can we live a life that is uh, pure and, and like sin is so distant in our lives? How can we celebrate the goodness of God? Whatever is excellent, whatever rises above the rest, think about that. And then let's think about things that are praiseworthy. Now, we're not really talking about what uh, man would call praiseworthy. We're talking about what God would call praiseworthy. So what what kinds of things does God celebrate? And I know like we could make a long list of those things, 
but really we're only going to know that we're only going to learn that as we spend time with him but i will give you an example that i thought of a few weeks ago when we were uh think we were studying the song reckless love uh they talk about leaving the 99 and it's a, so that's a reference to a parable in luke chapter 15 that talks about how there's one sheep that's lost and the shepherd will leave the 99 to go find the one that's lost. And obviously that's it's a parable. It's a reference to Christ pursuing lost people. Uh, but then he, it, the Bible says that right after that lost person is found, there's a huge celebration in heaven. And so when somebody gives their life to Christ, when you give your life to Christ, that's praiseworthy. There's a huge celebration over that. When you go and help someone uh, find Christ, give their life to Christ, that's praiseworthy. There's a huge celebration over that. And actually, there's, there's a lot of things that, that God celebrates. And again, you, you'll learn those things as you spend time with Him. If anything, is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. When we do that, that's when the peace of God will rule in our hearts. If peace, students, if peace, you feel like peace is missing from your life, this is the answer right here. We must think about things that God deems as excellent and praiseworthy. That's, that's the answer. And that's where the joy comes from. Students, I hope that you guys have an amazing week and I really, really hope that we get to see each other soon.